you or many others like ourselves, you might be struggling right now financially, existentially. We are so preoccupied with, uh, you know, with, the, with our daily lives, with our, you know, f uh, financial stuff, job wise, uh, you know, with the little details, uh, with our kids and, um, you know, worries, concerns, fears, you know, with a subtle consciously, unconsciously. Um, yeah, this is a Bitcoin episode and my name is Kevan Davani, Kevan Davani Connection Show or because, uh, since a lot of people have a hard time pronouncing my first name, the Davani Connection Show. And yeah, Bitcoin, you know, is rallying is uh, with, you know, we're all super bullish. If you're Bitcoin, of course, it's at around 37,000 US dollars in euro it would be around above 34,000 euro. And it's going up and up and up unexpected, unexpectedly for most people who, uh, you know, who are not acquainted, who are not familiar with Bitcoin, who are afraid of Bitcoin, who are fighting Bitcoin, who don't understand the essence, uh, the purpose and, you know, the power and the structure and the uh, properties, uh, the monetary properties of Bitcoin. And all the other, you know, properties that Bitcoin has, uh, which we can only could have dreamt of as humanity, because it is, uh, you know, it's a new form of money. It is pure, uh, purely digital. It is pure information. And it has all the properties, <laughs> attributes that we could have ever dreamt of. Totally decentralized, uh, trustless or trust minimized, if you want to call it. It's uh, absolutely scarce with 21 million. You can know and calculate with mathematical precision when the last Bitcoin going to be generated or mined, as we, as we say, in the year 2140. And yeah, it's all about cryptography and information. And uh, it's all about mathematics. And you cannot control it. You cannot confiscate it, really. You can just, you know, you could literally, you know, and practically memorize 12 or 24 words. Uh, you know, if you are, for example, in some country where there's war, crisis, conflict or whatever, you sell all your stuff or whatever, you whatever cash you have, you just put it into Bitcoin. You memorize the 12, 24 words, you know, you convert it and... Um, you go over the border and there you go. You just you don't even need actually a hardware wallet then. You know, you you just go over the border, get yourself a hardware wallet there, you know, uh, without you know risking your life or risking whatever, uh, anything. And um, yeah, and there you go. And you have your all your um uh capital, you have all your money, um the hardest, scarcest money. And which uh, will, uh, which is actually deflationary. Bitcoin is deflationary money. But is that the topic of our discussion today? Is that the topic of my rant, my monologue today? Uh, can Bitcoin, the power of Bitcoin, save humanity, save us uh, from uh, the very natural and recurring, um, but imminent? unfortunately, imminent and overdue earth disaster cycles. Many layers of earth disaster cycles. Would it be in hundreds of years, 150, 200 years, or thousands of years, or, you know, tens of thousands of years, or hundreds of thousands of years, or millions of years? But we are in this, you know, high peak cycle. And I want to... Um, I want to ask you to uh, go uh, to go to this page. I'm sorry to suspicious observers and subscribe to his channel, and also go to his Twitter page, Space Weather uh, News. His Twitter handle is Sun Weather Man. Uh, I'll put it all in the in the show links uh, in the show notes, and but go over there. The, he is like super factual. He is, uh, you know, totally a super scientific, solid uh, guy. And uh, he, you know, brings a lot of things to the surface of the day. Uh, and he he's a super, you know, investigative uh, scientist and uh, podcaster and, uh, 
and he works with numbers, with data, hardcore data, facts, with factual reality. But these are the things we, we, ne we never, you will never hear or or he, or see uh, or you know hear about or read about in the mainstream uh, news or mainstream media or mainstream literature. There are more and more you know scientists, uh, astrophysicists, uh, technologists uh, uh, who are coming out with uh, and and you know and and Ben Davidson, that's a guy, Ben Davidson. He's actually. Um, He's a, he's a pretty cool guy. You know, he, I think he, as far as I know, he is uh, permanently in Colorado. That's where the, you know, one of the safest, play, safest places uh, will be once the Earth disaster cycle starts uh, being triggered. Or uh, And now, what do I mean with Earth disaster cycle? I mean, um, for example, um, because of the diminishing, the ex exponentially reduced magnetic field of the Earth, which has been ongoing uh, exponentially faster and faster, at least 5% per year, uh, diminishing uh, uh, in the last uh, at least 50, 70, maybe even 100 years, but let's say a century. Within the last century, the curvature has, has gone like sort of a horizontally, and then all of a sudden the curvature goes down, you know? So that's that's the, what we're dealing with. And I knew about a lot of other galactical, you know, transformations and movements and changes uh, decades ago. Uh, I was told by, you know, uh, scientists, nuclear engineers, nuclear scientists, uh, other people, who are really deep into this, that we, uh, you know, the, we are sort of a, in a solar system. <laughs> we are in a really a tiny speck of a dust as a planet, and we are within our solar system, and this solar system is within, you know, a bigger solar system, blah, 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 but within a, an, a galactical arm of our sort of galaxy, right? And our galaxy is within, you know, uh, a bigger galaxy, but there's a like a huge galaxy uh, you can imagine there's a huge, uh, you know, unimaginable like galactical spiral, you know, like a plasma, like a spiral. And just imagine like a funnel, all right, like a funnel. And we as Earth with with all the other planets, right, Jupiter, Saturn, blah, 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 um, and all the other planets and all the solar systems, we are being squished and pushed more into the center of the much bigger uh, galaxy and and eventually also, you know, there's also some other transformation changes going on with our universe. So there's a much big, much, much bigger unimaginable layers going on. But let's just stay, you know, on this topic of Earth disaster cycles. And it's cycles. It's not just one cycle. So you've got, so just go on this, uh, go, go on this page. Um, and I don't want to, you know, make this random monologue too long today, because um, so go on uh, first of all on Twitter.com uh, or X.com, uh, so uh, and subscribe, follow Sun Weather Man. Uh, that's the space weather news of Ben De Ben Davidson and his, uh, you know, superb, uh, you know, excellent suspicious observers YouTube channel. He's got, uh, you know, around more than 700,000 subscribers and it's all free, right? I mean, you don't even have to pay a, a cent for that. And just go over the, you know, most important, the one that is like, uh, like uh, pinned to the top, the Earth Disaster documentary. It's like, I don't know, what is it? One and a half hours. There's even a shorter version of like uh, 20 minutes approximately. Just go through the videos. You'll find those uh, like, like like wonderfully summarized uh it's it's really broken down so you can understand in easy palpable language you know digestible language uh about solar storms about uh solar shots about the micronova the impending imminent uh micronova within the next few decades it's not like you know okay so this is something that's really important um before we talk about like the power and the potential of Bitcoin, what we could do, right, about it, because it's a natural phenomenon. It's not like some conspiracy theory or, or artificially created whatever EMPs stuff or, uh, you know, harp or anything. No, it's we're talking like a supernatural Earth disaster cycles. 
And this is what we need to deal with. We need to accept reality, the facts are on the table, the data on the table, the numbers on the table, and it's been verified by a bunch of more and more, you know, scientists and the actual Ben Davidson has corrected and added a lot of knowledge, complemented a lot of knowledge and factual reality to the science. He's written articles, he's written books, he's done, you know, a lot of presentations, he, you know, he's been going to conferences and actually, you know, you know, debating, discussing, and then bringing forth like this is factual reality you know uh and and correcting a lot of uh you know a bullshit that's been produced by you know so-called established uh scientists astrophysicists or whatever what have you right or people who are you know into this uh uh space uh weather uh stuff right so what we're talking about is like for example uh, again, in combination with the exponentially diminishing or reduced magnetic field, the protective layer, protective shield of the Earth that's been diminishing. So you can imagine it like a sort of a, a line that's going more or less vertically, right? And then all of a sudden it goes downwards. It goes southwards, like as S, almost like an S curvature, like a like a right. It goes down, so it goes so and and it's been it's been diminishing you know, since 1800s, 1900s even, but now faster and faster by orders of magnitude, at least 5%, maybe even more, up to 10% per year. And it will accelerate faster and faster. So this is what we're dealing with. So once this protective layer like is gone or at least temporarily, and we had such a case, but they tried, you know, NASA, whatever other institutions tried to sort of obfuscate it or to, you know, to silence this whole thing. And, you know, there's a lot of scientists, not only in this, in this specific field, but in many other fields, as you can imagine, especially on technological innovation, anything that is, you know, a danger to the, uh, you know, to the status quo of the, you know, whatever, military, industrial, financial, central banking, governmental, uh, you know, deep state and behind the, you know, the puppets, the puppet master um, complex, right? Especially, you know, when we're talking about like technology, like energy, transportation, uh, propulsion technology, energy, uh, uh, anything, right? And, uh, uh, and then you know the whole patent system. It's 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 like a, a you know whole new realm of of topics. But once you have um, you know solar shot or coronal mass ejections from the sun with a with a vortex that it's directed at Earth, and that could happen anytime, anytime soon, anytime now, unexpectedly or within at least. Especially when we're talking about like the 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 much much you know ca more catastrophic layers of the Earth disaster cycles. Speaking of solar shots and micronova, which Ben Ben Davidson will explain to you and can explain to you and will explain to you, you know, in his ongoing regular you know podcasts, videos, uh, presentations, books, he can explain this much better than I can do. But uh, we're talking about like electromagnetic uh solar rays cosmic rays that penetrate right that penetrate uh or just break through you know the 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 protective layer of our of our uh or our you know diminishing or missing uh, protective layer of uh, our planet earth right and this is what's protecting us you know from a lot of cosmic rays and uh galactical rays and 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 uh, you know d dangerous you know waves and rays that uh, is not even visible right as you know and that's been you know that's a proven fact that's reality there is a spectrum right there's a bandwidth that we can see and it's so small it's like you know if you if you take like a 1 meter <laughs> or 2 meters of 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 spectrum and you have like a tiny like a a, a couple of centimeters maybe you know at most that you can see with your visible eyes, you know, or maybe even hear with your ears. And so that's that's what I'm talking about. It's about the perception uh, through our senses, right? Ears, eyes, whatever, through our brain, uh, you know. So anything beyond that is not 
uh, perceivable by us because we don't have, you know, we, we, we lost it. We, you know, we lost the capability. We lost the, the skills. We lost, maybe it's been manipulated, you know, through all the, whatever, you know, uh, the EMPs. Then, you know, then we can talk about the artificial, uh, you know, attacks that we've been on, you know, we've been under um, for so many decades now, right? Would it be, you know, microwaves and EMPs and electromagnetic and, and solar and, and, you know, that too, of course. Yeah. But, but I mean, like artificially created, like, like, um, harp and TV and mobile and 5G and all the poison and toxins and the fluoride in the water systematically put in, you know, a lot of, you know, additives and toxins and and uh, neurodegenerative uh, whatever, and especially fluoride that attacks your pineal gland that that, that sort of distorts you know the per your perception. So it's a lot of things that's been proven. You know, so it's it's uh, it would be like you know it would be beyond the, the scope of this video of this rant monologue. But I'm trying to like give you like a broader, and that's. A broader picture, right? A bigger picture. Because even, you know, I am a Bitcoiner and I know, I'm not only convinced, I know Bitcoin is the one and only, we have no choice, you know, root solution to maybe not 100%, but because we have to develop, we have to evolve on many other layers and, and levels, especially psychologically, emotionally, physically, and, and most of all, spiritually and consciously. Right. When we talk about magnetic or magnetical fields, gravitational fields, our DNA, our information carrier, right, which is non tangible, which is not physical. You, some people love to call it frequencies or whatsoever. But we need first to understand, we need to comprehend, we need to absorb, internalize, we need to reflect upon the facts. What is you know what can be read, what can be understood, what can be comprehended? Would it be numbers, facts, connecting the dots, the factual reality, everything? And that's unfortunately the blind spots of a lot of Bitcoiners. They're so I mean it's not only Bitcoiners, but it's like whether you're talking about like with macro experts, Austrian economists, or this technology, scientists, this and that. Like most people, whether it be in mainstream or alternative or outside the box. Most people are within their, their bubble, right, of knowledge. And, you know, there's a difference. It's a huge fundamental difference between knowledge, right? There's, you know, a, a amazing, a unimaginable number of people, like a super intelligent beyond my intelligence or a realm of knowledge, a realm of, you know, a dimension of understanding, comprehension, you know, and so on. But it's about like connecting the dots. It's about like thinking beyond your dimension or your bubble within, right? It's good, you know, to always listen. That's that's the thing. You need to listen to a lot of experts, to a lot of investigative journalists, experts, insiders, whistleblowers, people who have wisdom, right? Understanding, knowledge, wisdom. But there is a fundamental difference, right? Between understanding, comprehension, knowledge, right? And wisdom. Whether it be, you know, knowledge, wisdom, spiritual wisdom, understanding, comprehension, right? The comprehension goes beyond understanding, you know, from my perspective, right? In my in my comprehension, because you you connect the dots. It's like it's something that is is really not uh, easily definable. What is comprehension, right? Because comprehension is like for me is like uh, the the uh, amalgamation the, the the convergence of everything right you connect the dots it's like you're going into a psychedelic you know experience with it be you know uh, 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 psychedelics you know like magic mushroom or ayahuasca DMT and then you all, you just know you just know it's so real it's so beyond real but you cannot describe it you cannot define it you cannot explain it to a especially not with someone who has not who has never had an experience you know that's why I love you know some aspects of Joe Rogan because he he's done these experiences right so people who talk to him, most people who talk to him, or a lot of people who talk to him uh, they they've They've gone through the experience, so, and he's very curious. So you need to be very curious and open-minded. So let's go back to the, you know, to the main focus of this of this uh, rant. Can the power of Bitcoin, you know, uh, help uh, and save humanity from these Earth disaster cycles? And I think it can, but we need to accelerate this process. Whether you call it hyper Bitcoinization, uh, mass adoption. 
uh, understanding uh, Bitcoin, comprehending Bitcoin, adopting Bitcoin, uh, developing and living uh, circular economies. And with that, it's not only about like economies, like 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 financially, economically. No, I mean like on every level, then te- especially technological in every level, not just you know it's all stupid AI. Art- I mean, this is right. It, it, it's supposed to serve humanity, right? <laughs> every technology is supposed to uh, you know serve humanity, so we have more comfort, more joy. So we have to less you know work less. And do the things that we do, you know, we love to do passionately. So we, so we, as an individual, each one of us and our, you know, children and the children of our children can serve, you know, each other and humanity with love, with passion, with empathy, with a purpose, with a mission. So each one of us has or should have a mission, a calling, right? So this is where I see myself. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying. I do. I'm. 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 I'm connecting the dots, but uh, like, you know, like communicating this in a, within a bigger picture is really is really difficult. Extremely difficult. This is why you know Bitcoin is a really uh, fundamental root solution, and you can you know uh, like a tentacles. You know, it goes from like like a like a mycelium, like a you know mushroom, like you know my, mycelium under the trees, under the earth, and it has a vast network, maybe even planetary. It's all interconnected. You know, like uh, electrically, uh, chemically, biochemically, uh, electromagnetically, magnetic, gravitationally, right? So we need to advance, we need to innovate, and we need to elevate ourselves on this conscious understanding, comprehension, and knowledge, and spiritual level, and especially wisdom level, right? But it's coming. It's uh, we we have to face reality. the The solar shot, the chrono mass ejection, micronova, the the penetration, you know, of of uh, of of the sun, you know, uh, corona mass, you know, the 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 cosmic rays. Sooner or later, latest in the 2040s and 2050s. Just listen to Ben Davidson's, you know, documentaries or videos and presentations. Read his books, order his whatever articles. But you don't even need to pay anything. You just need to listen to him. You just need to watch his videos. All right, his you know succinct, super like summarized comprehensive uh, documentaries. And then you will understand the reality and the imminent, well, reality. And, and, and you know, we need to protect ourselves. We need to protect ourselves and our children. So you, if you have children, especially if you have children, and by the way, children, I mean, while we're talking, you know, there are children being massacred, in, heavily injured. There are children in i don't give a fuck really whether they're from palestine from gaza from israel from i don't care i think we should evolve beyond that all this you know nation state government and ethnicity and religion bullshit and whether you are muslim jewish buddhist uh christian or zion you know i mean i mean it's zionism is not even religion it's just it's just uh you know uh um, uh, evil, you know, Luciferian, uh, you know, Satanism. I don't know. I don't know what they're what they're worshiping. It doesn't matter. It's not none of my fucking business. I care about humanity. I care about children. I care about innocent people that are being, um, in an unimaginable way, you know, massacred, injured, killed, bombarded. Uh, and if you just just for a second, you know, just for. Uh, for for the love of humanity, if you just look at this, all right, this is uh this is Julia, this little girl, and if you don't have kids, if, especially if you don't have a daughter uh, around this girl's age, around three years old, you don't know holistically, like to you know, like to uh, beyond hundred percent, like what I'm talking about, all right. So she lost her house. I know you can feel you probably have empathy with, it, but but it's it's real difficult, especially if you don't have children, but. But I'm sure you can imagine, right? So she lost everything. She lost her mother, her father, all the other family members. She has no home, no family. And this journalist, uh, there's so many kind, you know, and, and empathetic and, and, you know, self-sacrificing journalists out there in Gaza and Palestina. You know, he he's, you know, he's been looking after her and trying to find a shelter for this little girl. 
And she reminds me so much, you know, of, and uh, this little girl reminds us, you know, of our girl. And because she has the same, you know, the same, the same uh, hair. And um, I mean, look at this. It's, it's, it's hard. It might, it's, I just could just break down and, and bitterly, you know, whine and cry. But this is what we're dealing with. I mean, is this, is this the planet we want to live on? Right. Is this the planet? Is this humanity? Is this, this is not, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is exactly the opposite of peace. This is exactly of uh, the, the, the opposite of, of, uh, this is evil. This is just evil. I mean, we're talking about like at least by now 5,000 children. And, and again, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit whether, you know, these people uh, are from Israel, Palestine, or anywhere, Africa. I don't care. And it's been happening, of course, at, you know, so many other places. But it just, it just shows, you know, the systematic, you know, uh, soul. I mean, there is no soul. There is no soul within these people who are who have been you know carpet bombing the shit out of this uh, of this little whatever is left of Palestine, whatever has been you know stolen since nineteen forty eight. You know of property, I mean property, I mean their their land, their, where you know where they lived, and just just go and uh, you know and there's enough more than enough you know books and uh, interviews and. We talk about humanity. We talk about love and empathy and and joy and pleasure and and peace, right? So we need to do something and d don't be silent. You know, I mean, I cannot stand and I'm not the only one who says that. A lot, a few Bitcoiners out there who are saying this is so shameful. I mean, that you know, I mean, yeah, you can be passive, you can be silent about this, but this is not this is not right. This is not correct. You should at least say something or donate, do something, right? Or at least say something. Condemn the the, the massacre, the you know, of, of of children, innocent, you know, fathers, mothers, and I don't care whether it's fucking Hamas, IDF. I, I mean, fuck them. I mean, screw all of them. We're talking about peace. Or you know, these are all operatives. These are all been been financed by, but you know, and the and the puppet masses, and the real puppet masses have been always financing both on all sides, wars. Terrorists, 9-11, JFK. You think Mossad or you know the Zionists have not been complicit or involved in this whole thing in, in whether you know within JFK assassination or what, what have you? Anyway, just forget about it. We could have so much more as humanity. We have so much potential, and there's so many technologies, so much um so much abundance that's been stolen from us at least within the last hundred years patents that have been suppressed more at least more than five thousand patents have been confiscated in the name of national security that could have been served you know it could have been served to humanity for civilian purposes whether it be energy transportation propulsion we know we we would be you know working maybe you know voluntarily passionately maybe 15 20 hours per week at most and the rest of our time, we would be doing what we love to do most, whether it be art, teaching, sharing knowledge, researching, developing, you know, advancing humanity, going into space with magnetic or gravitational, you know, field forces, electromagnetic field force, whatever you want to call it. But this is so primitive, the technologies we've been having. And we are this whole like you know electric cars. I mean, I mean the Elon, the, the fact that Elon Musk doesn't even talk about this is so ridiculous. Either he's so afraid, he's so scared, and so many other people, or you know there are so many other people being blackmailed, extorted. I mean, evil people. You know, we're talking about like systemic pedophilia. All the politicians, you know, most of the politicians, Congress, people, or whatever, legislators, judges, prosecutors, sheriffs. Executive, legislative, judiciary, deep state, multi-intelligence agency, military industrial complex, financial, central banking, evil, satanic complex. All right. This is what we're talking about. So please share this information, share the videos that I that I forwarded you or that I put them, I'm gonna put in the show notes. Educate yourself. 
It's really important. Educate and share this knowledge, share your wisdom. We need to protect ourselves and our loved ones. We need to take precautionary measures. We need to do preventive measures, all right? We need to accelerate the process of freedom, of peace, of empathy, of love, of healing, of technological, scientific breakthroughs on every imaginable level, beginning with mo money, first of all. We need hardest and scarcest, unconfiscatable, totally decentralized um, money information, right? We need a deflationary money, a money that is totally limited with 21 million Bitcoin and is divisible to 100 billion Satoshis each Bitcoin. You don't need a whole Bitcoin. Just, just buy for 10 euro, 10 dollars, a little bit of Bitcoin. Store it on a non-custodial, meaning non-centralized wallet, Bitcoin, whatever, for the beginning, a mobile wallet and get yourself a harder wallet. And just, just, just stack, just, just save it for yourself and your posterity, for your family, for your children. And you will thank yourself in the coming months, years, and decades, especially in the next years, right? Because the purchasing power will grow exponentially by orders of magnitude. So do not be surprised if one Bitcoin will be worth whatever. In today's purchasing power of a million euro or dollars, or in today's purchasing power, $10 million. Don't be surprised. Once you understand the essence and the power and the fundamental economic principles and the monetary technological principles behind and within Bitcoin, then it will all, it will all just make click, aha, uh -huh, and wow, okay? So yes, Bitcoin can help accelerate this process and help and save humanity from the earth disaster cycles. This is what I'm convinced of. This is what I know. But we need to accelerate individually as a group, as a society, as a whole civilization. And we, don't, we do not need 8 billion people. That's for sure. We need a critical mass. Would it be 3% or 5% or at most maybe 10 for 15%? That would be wonderful. But all we need is a few percentages of the Earth's population. It doesn't even be everywhere, just on different spots of the, on this planet. And there you go. And you accelerate this. It's like the S curvature. Every technology you've been looking at, mobile, internet, just look at it, the exponential adoption curve, right? And Bitcoin is the one. I mean, it, we've been, what, 15 years of Bitcoin? And just look at this. It went from, what, two cents or a fraction of a cent to what? Now we have 30, again, it was already at 60, 70,000 uh, euros, right? At one one point of time, or 50,000, 60. It doesn't matter. It's about person because the fiat, this whole criminal, corrupt, and evil, satanic fiat monetary central banking governmental system is... Is, is doomed, is, it's, it's going to fail. It's going to crash sooner or later like a house of cards. We have derivatives in the system with all the unfunded liabilities and everything else. And that's from Institute of, Inter uh, of International Finance, at least 2.1 .1 quadrillion US dollars with all the derivatives, with all the soap bubbles, right? With all the, and you know what the pin is? Bitcoin will be the pin. Because it will absorb like a black hole all the 900 trillion, you know, uh, capital and assets and everything else. Would it be real estate? Uh, you know, because people will escape, right? And and the bond market is about, it, you know, would it be yield up, yield down? All these discussions, philosophical discussions about yield down, yield up. I mean, it's important to understand, you know, the, the correlations, the causations, everything else. But in the end, it's all about debt bubble, credit double. A bubble, right? Fiscal deficits here, fiscal deficit there. You know, uh, what's the price of the bonds? With a, you know, if the if the yields go up, then the price should go actually down. Blah blah. But it's not. So it's it's all a fucking you know mass mental masturbation. In the end, it's all a fucking bubble. At beyond two quadrillion U.S. dollars, right? Just look it up. Instead of international finance, it's huge. It's astronomical. So what we're dealing is actually trivial. 
in the in the much much unimaginable bigger bigger picture and dimension of comprehension right when we talk about earth disaster cycle because everything becomes irrelevant because once the information and communication systems break down and destroy through you know electromagnetic uh, forces solar shot micronova coronal mass ejections what have you and the exponentially reduced magnetic field of the planet earth then we are fucked anyway right and only a, a, a maybe a very tiny percentage of of humanity will survive one two three percent maybe i think one percent so that's why it's important that we take precautionary measures we accelerate the technological innovation development you know get all these compartmentalized secretly developed within the last you know 50 70 years out of the military industrial complex of the deep state and and the you know beyond like top secret you know but i'm optimistic i'm a realistic optimistic and optimistic realist make a wish let us manifest this together individually together my name is Kevin Davani and I'm the host of the Davani connection show or the Kevin Davani connection show and please share this video share the information that I that I provide you with share this with your friends with your family plant the seed at least I know it's difficult I know it's extremely difficult people are so there with their ass in their you know with the brain in their ass and you know, deep in the sand, it's, you know, brainwashed, indoctrinated, fearful, intoxicated, I don't know, with, t you know, television, mainstream, it's, I, I know what you talk, I know, I know exactly what you're thinking right now. It's impossible. But just plant a seed, just put it out there, the data, the numbers, the facts, the summaries, the documentaries, just put it out there. People are going to take a look because they cannot just look away sooner or later maybe not now but in a in a you know few months in six months in one year you will see they will wait they will have waken up and that seed will, will will be will have you know will be fruitful it will blossom so we as humanity as a human civilization will will prosper will thrive will blossom and we will you know elevate ourselves into a high dimension and i'm not talking about like esoteric bullshit. no no i'm talking about like really traveling to space to other planets to other galaxies this is what we actually should be doing by now i'm totally convinced about that so thank you again so much my name is kevin davani and um please share this information and peace and love